Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on the Hunter Colour World, we're here to celebrate its seventh anniversary. That's right, it's its birthday today, so get out your cakes, uh, your rifles, do a bit of hunting on the game, and uh, enjoy yourself and have fun. That's what the video games are all about. And today we're going to do like a montage of some of my favourite moments over those seven years of playing the Hunter Colour World. Also take a look at some of the development and how it's worked over the years, and then talk about new maps and dlcs and things like that a bit later in the video now this video i made it took me one month right i've been playing since before the game released just before i got early access and i was playing it and uh, lots of special things happened but this video it took me literally a month to make this time lapse and i spent a lot of time doing it and it's just because i love the hunter games if you don't know me, I've spent many, many years playing the Hunter games. And they basically become more than games to me. I play them every day for many hours. I've played them for nearly 15 years. Next month, it's 15 years I've been playing the Hunter games. So you can imagine, to me, for someone who plays them every day, puts, makes video content, um, enjoys playing them, they're more than a video game to me. Um, they really are. And uh, I put a lot of time in effort and i do it because i love the games so this is very special for me and uh, i just thought i'd show you some of these clips of these special moments that i've had during playing the hunter call of Wild over several years now the thing is right we're only just starting out there's still so much to come and i uh, can't wait to see what this next reserve is but let's go over some of these special moments and we'll talk about that more in a minute now when you play the hunter games you get heartache, you get excitement, enjoyment, you know what I mean? You get everything. And uh, this is one of my sort of like favourite moments, which wasn't great. <laughs> this was my dream trophy, right? A melanistic diamond super rare whitetail. And when I shot it, it was on Rancho del Arroyo. It ended up being like one point under that dream. And that's the thing about the Hunter Games. You never know what's coming next. You don't know what's around the next bush, in the next forest, what your next animal could be. It could be your dream trophy. And that's what keeps us playing. Um, people just love exploring, hunting, looking for that dream trophy to put in the trophy lodge. And I thought I had it here. I really did. And then I realised it was a troll. And it was a super troll. <laughs> but that's the thing about the Hunter games. Like I say, the Hunter Call of Wild. Um... One day you'll get this, and then the next day you might get your next trophy. It could be the next kill. You just never know, and that's what keeps us playing all these years, all this time. But uh, I must say, I nearly shed a tear with that one. It, it, did, it did crack me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Now, we all know this moment so well when you play the Hunter Colorado. You've been playing for years. There's a certain trophy animal you want. You've put in all the hours. You're just not getting no luck. You're like, it doesn't happen. It's not going to happen to me. I've killed thousands of the same species. I want that trophy animal. And then you look through binoculars and it's there. So that's why you have to keep the faith. Just keep plugging away and having fun. The key thing is have fun, right? If you're a grinder, for example, which has become a big thing amongst the Hunter Call of Wild players, just make it fun. Enjoy yourself. Just enjoy your hunts. You haven't even got to grind. Just go out and have fun, right? And um, you never know, like I say. And every now and again, like what you're seeing there, you get that special trophy that you dreamed of. And you didn't think you'd ever get, but it's there. You got it. And that's a reward you get from just playing and enjoying yourself and having fun. And sometimes there's really weird moments as well, which I've had quite a few of those. And we'll have a look at one of those in a minute. It's absolutely bizarre, to be honest. And... Uh, it still uh, reminds me of like what you don't know what's going to happen next. Some some things are like not even supposed to happen, and then they just do uh, while you're playing. And this is one of those moments. Now I was after a great one, red deer at Quattro Colinas, and I was like, oh, I just shot. I think I just shot a diamond or something in this area. Come back in. I was looking around and got some road here bothering me. I'm like, don't get out of the way, you. I don't want you. And then I look over here, and then there he is. There's my great one red deer, right? So I'm absolutely elated. All those hours I put in, those days, those weeks, and uh, all the hard work is done. He's there. 
And I look over, <laughs> I've got wolves. Now, I never knew anything about this. I didn't know that the wolves could attack a great one. So I'm like, it's going through my head like, what, what, why, what's going off? <laughs> no, no, I don't know if I'm going to lose it or whatever. And uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone else like capture this. And like I say, for me, it was a bizarre moment because obviously my great ones just spawned. But not only that, I've just captured wolves chasing a great one which I don't know if anyone's ever shown that before. And there's over 10 million people. So imagine, it's like, it's a weird feeling, but a great feeling at the same time and terror. <laughs> so that was a really good moment. And one of my favourite ones from playing The Hunter Call of Wild. Let me know all about your favourite The Hunter Call of Wild moments you've ever had, right? What is your, if it's just a long story, just one, right? Well, just put in a few. I don't mind, I'll read your comments and have a look. But yeah, let me know your favourite moment in the Hunter Color Wild since you've been playing. Whether you've been playing a week or you've been playing seven years since it's been out. Do you know what I mean? Just let me know your favourite moment ever. And this is my favourite moment ever in the Hunter Color Wild. It's getting my first great one. Now, if you haven't watched this video, check it out. But if you don't know, I'll discuss about it now. Um, basically, I've been after a great one, Whitetail, right? My first great one ever. That's what this footage is. But what was really special about it is the whole lead up to it, right? I shot at a whitetail over the lake, like a 400 meter shot. It was, it was just like a small male and I just thought, all right, it's a male, shoot it. I shot it, right? I made a bad shot on it. So when I ran over to collect this whitetail I shot at, imagine going down to the floor and then collecting a track which was a great one track. So it was literally outside the one I'd just shot. Then I found this group. There's an albino in it, in the same group as the great one, white-tail deer, a diamond white-tail deer, and a great one. So imagine an albino, a diamond white-tail deer, and a great one in the same group. <laughs> it was so bizarre. And this was my first one. And like I said, I could have actually wounded the great one with the long shot because I just shot into some bushes at a whitetail. I didn't even know it was there. And as I collected the one and actually shot the track of it, I found the great one track right next to it. I didn't even know it was there. So it was really bizarre, random, and probably one of the rarest groups you'll ever see in on the Call of Wild. So that is one of my favourite moments, and uh, I'll never forget that. And uh, a lot of fun it was. And it got me the uh, the big rack, which I, that's the rack I actually wanted at the time. So that was my first great one, Whitetail Deer. But the whole hunt scenario was absolutely amazing. And that's why I play the Hunter Call of Wild for those kind of moments. Right, on to this. So this has been made by the Hunter team. It's a video to show the timeline of the last seven years and what's come out since the beginning of the Hunter Call of Wild to the current date. And now we'll talk about the future. Now, some people was hoping, like me today, that we'd find out what the new map might be. We thought that might be a time to announce it. Well, this is what they've said today. To all of you that were hoping for some reserve news today, we would like to be fully transparent with you. Yes, there is a reserve coming this year that has been in development for some time. While it's always been fun to see all of you sleuth for clues on where we're going next, we're not quite ready to share those details about that yet. We have some sharp hunters out there that I'm sure will get the hints when we're ready to share them. There will be other DLC releases before the next reserve, not referring to events with free cosmetics. So there's new DLCs on the way first. These smaller DLCs are carefully crafted by different teams than those that work on our reserves. It's super important to our teams that all these DLCs meet our quality standards before we share them with you, including our reserves that take more time to polish. So where do you think we're going next for the next new map? Drop it in the comments. Today we've been celebrating our 7th anniversary for the Hunter Call of Wild. Happy birthday. I'm Ron Rick Chu. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.